Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Xbox error code 0x87E00013 when attempting to update or launching Xbox games on your Windows 11 computer. It should come back with an error message that something unexpected happened. Reporting this problem will help us understand it better. You can wait for a while and try again or restart your device. That may help. Followed by the error code 0x87E00013. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to actually just restart your computer as the error suggests. And then hopefully if you attempt to launch the Xbox application, hopefully that should have resolved the problem. Something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in WS Reset, best match, come back with WS Reset, go ahead and open that up, and then give it a moment here. And now if you attempt to go back into the Microsoft Store, hopefully if you open up the Xbox application, you should be good to go. If you are still experiencing an issue, something else we can try here as well, would be to open up the search menu, type in Xbox. On the right side, you want to select App Settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And you want to scroll down this page underneath Reset. If this app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app data won't be affected. Select the Repair button. And then I would attempt to relaunch your system and see if you're still having the issue. If you're still having the problem, you can come back into this page. And then this time, we can go underneath if this app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Go ahead and select Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Go ahead and select Reset. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.